So, Abyssess is, is about the monitoring of the consequences of obesity, and I would like in a few slides to tell you a bit more about this new project which started a year ago. So we have a fantastic consortium of people from EPFL, from MPA, from CSM, from the uh, University Hospital Zurich and, and others uh, from Sion, uh, <coughs> gathering together people from uh, sensor development, people from hardware and software, and clinical users, uh, which is one of the key features of this project. So basically, we are interested in obesity, which is a very important pathology, especially in our, our countries, with a lot of uh, medical consequences that, that can be very severe, going from cardiovascular diseases down to diabetes or some types of cancer. So a kind of a wide range of pathology uh, deriving from obesity. And uh, it also causes quite a lot of death per year. And especially in Switzerland, uh, it has a high impact. Uh, almost 50% of the population is overweighted, including myself. And some of them uh, have even uh, severe obesity. And the economical impact of that is also extremely bad with uh, an important amount of uh, millions spent a year for treating those patients. So how to uh, prevent and treat obesity? Well, the guidelines are, are known and they include, they require long-term monitoring of a certain number of uh, physiological factors. So we know what to do, but there is no real way to do it today. So such long-term monitoring system do actually not exist and that's exactly what we want to do in the project. Therefore, we have a project which is governed by very clear medical needs. We need to develop innovative, non-invasive sensors, which are compatible and integrated in long-term monitoring system that people can really wear daily, over day, overnight, in their everyday life. That's very important. And so to do that, we will innovate in a certain number of domains, going from sensor and algorithms to hardware integration, integration in smart textiles, and with a clear clinical uh, drive. And so we have three clinical scenarios to do that. The, things, the, the technological things that we will develop are, as I said, on the sensor part, different types of physio physiological uh, sense markers will be sensed by new types of sensors, cardiac output, energy consumption, electrocardiography. Then we'll have the architecture of the, of the system to integrate all those uh, types of signals and sensor through a wireless body sensor network, which has to be flexible, scalable, power efficient, wireless, and integrated in smart textiles. And the clinical, clinical scenarios that we have will validate this approach through very clear uh, clinical outputs. We have three demonstration scenarios. One is in prevention, so the idea is there to prevent obesity by monitoring the physical activity of potential obese patients. This is governed in Sion by Dr. Olivier Deria in the Clinic of Readaptation in Sion and in the Swiss Federal Institute of Sport by Dr. Meder. Then we have a second scenario which is inside the hospital, during the, the hospitalization, monitoring the consequence of obesity in terms of cardiac uh, problems, so obesity and arterial fibrillation, hypertension, and also diabetes. So this is during the hospitalization, and this is monitored by uh, Dr. Prevost. And then after, we have an outpatient monitoring system, so monitoring the consequence in terms of uh, outpatient cardiovascular problems after the, the treatment. So our, our system that we will develop will integrate innovative sensors into an innovative wireless body sensor network with very clear scenarios for validation in three different scenarios with three different uh, demonstrators. And that's what we want to do in the next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.